Hello friends, welcome to Cook to Nourish. Today's recipe is that of blueberry banana bread and of course it's paleo and AIP. Start by 3 4 cups of arrowroot flour and 3 4 cups of cassava flour. Uh, I like to use um, either Otto's flour or um, Anthony's premium uh, cassava flour. I do not um, you know, trust any other brands. Actually, I do not like even Antony's organic cassava flour because it has a different texture. Now, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and one eight teaspoons of um, sea salt. <clears throat> and mix everything well together. I just like to use a spoon and, you know, mix them well together, but you could also use a sieve. Uh, however, mind you, this arrowroot flour is really very fine, so if you try to sieve it, uh, sieve it it'll be very um, you know it'll make a big mess <clears throat> so now I have two ripe bananas there's these are about small two small ripe bananas and mashing that it and next we'll add a half a cup of olive oil or you can also use avocado oil Next, we'll add maple syrup as a sweetener. I like to add about one fourth cup and a couple tablespoons more. Um, so it's this bread is on the less sweet side. Uh, but if you like it to be sweeter, you can add it a little bit more. Now, although many people actually like to eat banana bread for breakfast, I, uh, I like to eat this as dessert. That is one and a half teaspoons of um, vanilla extract. And next you add all the uh, mixed flour in there. And then you can either, either mix it by hand or I, I like to use this electric uh, mixer. See the arrow root is really very fine so initially you will have like a lot of dust there. So do it very slowly initially. And uh, you know the mixer just helps to incorporate all the mashed banana well into this mixture. You can really do it by hand also. Yeah, it's almost done. There's just a couple more things we need to add before it can go into the oven. So that's one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And that helps to activate the baking soda. So after adding that, just give it a nice mix once again. And by then you will see that, you know, the baking soda is activated. So you can make that out in your batter. And, and next we just add half a cup more of water and blend it again and that's it. So see the texture of the batter it's it's you know a little bit loose kind of batter here now once you add the water you can see it's become loose and that's the consistency you want and the other important thing about this recipe is that you have to bake it immediately after you mix this as in most you know cake or recipes you you know once you activated that soda with the apple cider vinegar you should uh, bake it uh, promptly after that okay so I have a nine inch loaf pan here and I'm just greasing it with coconut oil and we can now pour the batter into it now you can just bake this 
banana bread as is right i mean if you uh, do not want uh, to add the blueberries you can just leave it as is but adding the blueberries is a good addition especially now that they are in season um, and uh, actually i have tried this even with strawberries so it tastes amazing even with strawberries so i have half a cup of blueberries here and uh, I like to just add it towards the end because otherwise the blueberries tend to break when you mix that up. So just add it towards the end and then just using a spoon kind of just push it down and mix it so that it's, you know, it's kind of mixed well into the batter uniformly. Okay, that's it. And then this goes into the oven to bake at 325 degree for about 50 minutes. Now individual ovens vary greatly so you know just make sure so this is how it should be when you put a, a toothpick it should come out clean and it comes off very easily because I had greased it while using coconut oil so but do remember to cool it before slicing it so I had kept it to cool for about 30 minutes and only then tried to slice it okay enjoy hope you like this recipe uh, please visit cook for more recipes thank you